everyone and welcome back to Mommy Talk. Today I am going to be doing Zuko's and mine 8 month update slash 8 month postpartum update. And as always I'm going to go ahead and start with Zuko. Little Zuko bear here. <laughs> Say hi! Okay so ignore my annoying mom antics. I can't help but sound like obnoxious when I'm around him but Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into Zuko's milestones and everything that he's been learning. And this is also going to kind of double as a 7th and 8th month update, just like last time when it was kind of like a double update. I didn't have like a ton to update on last month and then I was just really, really busy with my birthday happened to be right around when he turned 7 months old and then I had my trip to California and then everything just kind of got crazy as per usual because my life is like a never ending crazy chaotic story. But I am here now and I do want to go ahead and update you guys on what Zuko and I have been up to for the past month. Technically two months. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go ahead and jump into Zuko and how he has been doing for month seven and eight. Hi. Hi. Can I kiss you? <gasps> Hi. Yes. Hi. So as you can tell, Zuko is excited to go ahead and get started. Okay, so, oh, you wanna stand up? Okay, you can stand up. <laughs> okay, so obviously you can see that Zuko can sort of stand on his own. I am barely holding him up. Like, he's just holding onto my hand mostly for balance, but he is literally doing A plus in the standing and pulling himself up department. So not only can he stand by himself, he learned how to like hold on to something and stand like when he was seven months old and then during like eight months, uh, just like a couple weeks ago, he learned how to pull himself up like on the furniture and stuff. So that is something that he can do now. And he also started like baby babbling a lot. Like obviously he was doing the whole baby coo thing before, which is adorable. He's really started, I noticed, like trying to form actual sounds and actual words and I actually have a clip of it So you can tell that he's like really trying, I feel like, to communicate with us and um, trying to form words. So I feel like his first word is gonna like be right around the corner. Are you so excited? Okay, so also the most probably exciting update is that this little one right here is officially mobile. He learned how to crawl and he isn't exactly doing like the cliche on both knees and crawling motion officially I'd say but I also think that has to do with the fact that we have hardwood floors in our house so I think it hurts his knees to crawl. So as of eight months old we have officially started Zuko on solids and I say officially because we were kind of like sneaking in some like solid things and things. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, so we were kind of sneaking in like things that we were eating and like a bite of this and a bite of that every so often. But like as far as regularly feeding him solids, he has officially started that at eight months old. Um, we have tried the purees a couple of times. He hasn't really taken to it much. I, I feel like that's sort of kind of like the norm of what you're supposed to do is, you know, that's what every, that's what everybody kind of tells you when you're like a big, like a first time mom that you're, <laughs> that you're supposed to start with purees. And that's how we started out Parker is we did the whole start with, you know, exclusively breastfed and then we did like rice cereal for a while and then that we would jump right into purees and he took to them really really well but with my last like three children I don't know if it's pure coincidence or if maybe it's just like how I approach motherhood now or what but they just really didn't like purees and I remember skipping purees for both Lyric and Shaden because they just didn't like it they wouldn't eat off a spoon and they prefer to just feed themselves so, and he seems to kind of be the same way. I don't know if I might attempt it a few more times just to like get that extra like fruit and veggie in there, but for the most part, 
he, I feel like does, he likes to do the feeding of himself and he likes the solid things. So I'm probably going to do the baby lead weeding approach to solids. So another update we have for this little munchkin is as of last week, he got his first tooth. So his first tooth has officially popped through and it is the bottom right tooth and you can't see it very well but you when you put your finger on his gums like you can definitely feel it it's like a little sharp nub down there and so he has fr first tooth has officially popped through and i'm pretty sure that his second tooth is not too far behind so he is right in the middle of his sixth leap right now and that's known as the world of categories leap and so basically he's just learning how to put things into categories and an example of that would be like if he saw a picture of a cow in a in a picture book and then he saw a uh, a real life cow you know driving down the street and and you know saw a cow on a farm and a toy maybe of a cow and then he saw a, like a black and white spotted dog he would categorize that all in one category because he's still learning how to piece same characteristics together so uh, he is sort of off and on fussy because that can be kind of like a side effect of going through a leap is they can be sort of agitated or a little bit fussier or maybe not sleep as good as normal however from my point of view lately and I feel like kind of ever since he started this leap was which officially started at like week 35 and he is 36 weeks old right now and overall I feel like he has become like the happiest most chill baby maybe not even since his leap I feel like really since he started to become since he learned how to like sit up and become more independent and be able to move especially like I feel like the more time has gone on and the more he like learns how to become independent he has become happier especially when he was first born in those first few months were like really really hard and because they were kind of just consistently hard that was kind of like my normal so I didn't really realize just how difficult and challenging everything was but I did always know kind of in the back of my mind that he was like a really high maintenance baby but I feel like for the past couple months especially like maybe even since like about six months old but definitely even more since then he has become so happy and just smiles and laughs all the time. I mean, he's just always smiling, wakes up smiling, is always happy, rarely fusses unless he's, you know, hungry or needs a diaper change. And other than that, I mean, he's just happy all the time. I definitely think it has helped with my mental state and being able to, you know, have a little bit of freedom from him and have the ability to be able to like set him down without him crying or fussing and um, you know even if I just want him to like sit with his brothers for a little while and have them play with him while I maybe quickly load the dishwasher and on top of that you know it allows me the freedom to spend more time with his brothers which was definitely something that I was feeling that I was feeling like guilty and and frustrated about that I was spending so much time focusing on him and you know having to try and console him a lot that I wasn't being able to spend a lot of time focusing like one-on-one -on -one time with my other kids and that is definitely something that has been improving over time so I'm really really happy about that so I kind of naturally just transitioned into how I my postpartum was doing so on top of my mental state improving the only other couple updates I have obviously are my weight updates every once in a while I'll weigh myself and I'm down to like 137 and after a really big meal I'm up to like 142 so it really fluctuates like between those five pounds and obviously that's pretty normal to fluctuate within a five pound area moral of the story is I haven't really lost any weight but I haven't gained any either <laughs> So if I'm going to be like completely and totally honest with you guys, I am pretty frustrated about my weight only because I just, I've said this in pretty much every single video update up till this point is I have completely plateaued in my weight and I, I also say this in every other video, it's not... I, it's not like I have increased my activity level and I'm still not losing the weight. I know it probably would help if I could increase my activity level a little bit, but I am running around after kids all day and I don't have a ton of time outside of that to like fully commit myself to activity and you know physical activity and stuff like that. And I really feel like that would probably help a lot. It's just getting the motivation and the time and the energy <laughs> to do that. So I don't know, I'm gonna work on it and we'll see, but it is really frustrating to just see like that same number on the scale 
pretty much all the time. I'm trying to be like really confident in myself, but that is like so hard. So besides that, I don't really have like a ton to update on. I'm pretty much like the same as I have been in all my other updates. Like I feel overall, like I feel happy, you know, I feel pretty energetic. I definitely feel so much better than I did during his pregnancy. Like I was so tired all the time and I was so low energy and kind of just goes along with pregnancy. But I feel like even just postpartum, like the past two kids before him, like after, like postpartum with Shaden and Lyric were definitely different, I feel like, with than this postpartum. Looking back now, I definitely suffered through some serious postpartum depression after they were born, and the way that I feel now is exactly how I felt after Parker was born, which was basically just like really happy and really energetic, and I had, you know, a lot of energy to just like get things done and, you know, play with my kids and stuff, whereas before, after Shaden was born and right up until you know, basically he was born. I've been feeling the same way. I've just been tired, low energy, no motivation, oftentimes really depressed. And so that's, you know, basically I feel like my moods are just really good. They're really in balance. Okay, and the last thing I kind of have to report on, as far as like our breastfeeding relationship, even though he has started solids, we are still breastfeeding and going pretty strong, but there was a period of time, especially right after I got back from California, that like my supply just really plummeted. That was kind of like a stressful time trying to like pump during my trip and then, um, you know, flying on a plane for so long, I think that it really took a hit to my supply. I bought all the ingredients to make some lactation cookies and I actually ended up never getting around to to actually making the cookies but I heard from someone in a like a mom group or something that blue Gatorade helped boost their supply and I thought that was like the weirdest thing and I was and I that night I was gonna have Cody run to the store so I could try it because at that point I was just like so empty that I was willing to try almost anything Cody brought home some blue Gatorade from his grocery shopping trip but I happened to just drink some that night because I was really thirsty and the next morning I woke up engorged like more engorged than I have been in a really long time so apparently blue Gatorade boosts supply yeah and it's true I have literally tried this out and I some people will say that it's because you're actually like more dehydrated than you are but I know for me that's not true because I happen to carry around this water bottle and I fill it up multiple multiple times a day and drink from it and so I know it's not like dehydration because the blue Gatorade that I bought was just one of those little mini bottles and so I drank like one or two of those and bam like instant supply boost so if you are looking for maybe just kind of like a simple way to boost your supply I don't think it's definitely a quick fix where there might be other like underlying issues but if you do need kind of a quick supply boost that might be something that you want to check out because it definitely helped me so I think that's really all I have to update you guys as far as me and Zuko and how we are doing eight months postpartum um, basically overall we're doing really really well aren't we yeah we're doing really, really well, and I'm really excited to see... Hi. Hi. So make sure that you guys are following my Snapchat for more real-time updates, my Facebook page, my Twitter if you're into that, and even my Instagram. Make sure you guys are clicking that like button down below, subscribe if you aren't already, click the alert button if you are subscribed so that you don't miss any updates, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys!